Hi, we're at Christ Episcopal Church here in Kent Island, and we're going to talk to some of the vendors here this week. Come on and join me. Bill, how are you today? Good, how are you? Just fine. Tell us all about your business. What's the name of the business? It's Fresh Harvest Hydroponics. Okay. I'm from Millsboro, Delaware. Oh. Okay, that's where I have a couple greenhouses. They're a couple hundred footers. Wow. Um, I grow all the lettuces and herbs are grown hydroponically, uh, which is water instead of soilless growing, uh -huh. in other words. So our, our soil is water. Isn't so, that something? Right. And, and we have to balance everything. Just like people test their soils for pH and for acidity and things like that, that's what's important as far as water goes. We have to make sure our nutrients are right, our pH is right, and all. And if we do, we get pretty products. And we get nice, healthy products. Because we don't make the plants work as hard. We take the nutrients to the roots instead of the roots looking for the nutrients. I see. That's interesting. Right. Yes. Well, it, it looks beautiful. Thank you. Um, how do you keep, or do you have trouble keeping insects off, or you don't? Well, yeah, I do get aphids from time to time. I just released 1,400 ladybugs about two weeks ago. Really? So, yes, I use ladybugs to control aphids. And we do have powdery mildew issues from time to time, which we, we mix uh, hydrogen peroxide and water to take care of that. We don't spray any chemicals. I don't even like organic stuff. Really? I won't even use their sprays. No. Wow, Bill, this is really interesting. Thank you. Very, very interesting. So tell me about uh, what you have here. Well, this the microgreens down here, these are all done hydroponically as well. Okay. okay and this is the wheatgrass. So we saw the wheatgrass as trays. We also do small ones for pets. And then we also juice it for people that want the shots ready to be drank on the spot. Oh, that's good. Right, and we run it through a cold press juicer. So we're not, we're not actually taking in any of the grass. We're just getting the juices and the nutrients from it that we want. I the chlorophyll, the oxygen, the A to K and vitamins, all the good stuff that you need. Okay, and so the product that we see here in the bottles, that's part of uh, some well, of the juices? Well, those are, those are actually essential oils. Okay. Okay, uh, for healing and aromatherapy. Uh -huh. And then we have what we call up here. This is, I actually make this myself. This is microparticle colloidal silver. Oh. So we make the colloidal silver. Okay. Yes. Well, which is Mother Nature's antibiotic. Exactly. Right. Which right. is really good, especially this time of the year. Absolutely. With the flu it's, and the cold. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, absolutely. this is great, Bill. Well, if you want to get healthy and stay healthy, come see Bill. He's got it. I'm here with Dimitri. Dimitri, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Great. Great. Yep. Well, tell us all about your business. What's the name of the business? Uh, it's Dimitri Olive Oil. It okay. comes, uh, we uh, have four farms passed down to us for generations in southern Greece near Sparta. I was born and raised there. And we've been uh, uh, importing our family's olive oil for the last 10 years. Uh, it's pure, unfiltered, first cold pressed extra virgin. Uh, all naturally cultivated. And we have a commercial kitchen and a storefront in Baltimore City. And that's where we make our infused oils. Um, we import our, um, our balsamic vinegars also. But in our commercial kitchen, we also make our olives and our tapenades. We have a garlic caper tapenade, an orange flavor, roasted garlic. We make feta dips. And then olives, we just do a variety of uh, mixes and infusions. Like we take our Kalamata olive and we infuse it with orange zest, so it has like an orange essence. Oh. Uh, we do a Greek country mix with lemon and peppers and a little bit of a uh, kick to it for those people who love spicy stuff. And um, then we have stuffed ones, stuffed garlic, stuffed uh, pepper, stuffed pepperoncini, stuffed carrot, garlic lime mix. Uh, but the big seller is definitely the olive oil because uh, it's so pure and comes right from my family's farm. And uh, our garlic infused and uh, lemon and chili infused olive oils, definitely. I bet. Yeah. Yep. It all sounds delicious. Yeah, of course. Yep. And I happen to love uh, the stuffed martini, olive yeah. martini. So. <laughs> you, can, you can definitely put any of these olives in the martini. And, uh, <laughs> They'll, uh, you'll have a good turnout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so My much. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming to the Same farmer's market. Here. Yeah. Hi, we're here with Carol Fodonsky. How are you? Hi, thanks. How are you? Good, good, good. It was so good to see you here at the farmer's market. Well, um, every Thursday, I am here. Isn't that great? Yeah, I, it's just fantastic. I get, do most of my discretionary food shopping here. Isn't it wonderful? It's more than wonderful. It's healthy, uh -huh. and it's reasonable, That's and true. the people are great. Uh, mm. The vendors are wonderful. The people I meet here, I meet lots of friends. 
and I want to see more friends here. Come. That's we right. need you guys. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We're here with Brittany. Brittany, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Just fine. Tell me all about your business. What's the name okay. of Okay, our business is Law Fire Farms. We're out of Chestertown, Maryland. Um, everything you see here is grown on our farm. We have from tomatoes to onions to Brussels, and we also um, make our own cider, okay. which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay. um, which is pretty cool. We take all the apples that you see here, it's a variety, up to PA. It's um, a little family-owned business, and we press and bottle our cider. Okay. Yes, yeah, nice. really cool. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. Well, it has been fun, Brittany. Yes. We can't wait to taste some of the apples yes. and mix up some vegetables <laughs> for soup. We're here with Pamela. Pamela, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing just fine. Tell me about your business. Um, well, I'm the owner of Pamela's Heavenly Treats in Centerville, and we provide um, flavorful and healthy granola, eight different varieties. We have three on the table at the farmer's market. You can go on our website, um, phtreats.com, and get all the rest of the granolas that we sell. That's awesome. And I love the size of your bags. You have a yes. nice size bag for the granola. These are 13 ounces. Um, we also have snack bags. Okay. Three ounces that come in a six pack, and those are online. Okay, mm -hmm. that's great. So tell us one more time how the public can find you. Um, phtreats.com. All right, Pamela, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. I hope you come to the farmer's market this Thursday or next Thursday, any Thursday. I had a ball learning about the olives, about fresh fruits and vegetables, granola, and hydroponics. We hope to see you here. Come on and join us.